Hi, it's Jeremy Heath here, and today I want to talk to you about something that I know many of you uh, struggle with, and that is uh, sales. So, it's, I know it's great fun setting up a business, creating a product, creating some services, etc., for your for your clients. And no matter how much energy you put into creating the most fantastic product or or service, and no matter how valuable that is to your client or to your customer, you're going nowhere unless you can sell it. And that means no matter what, if you're in business, you're in sales. So I know some people say, you know, they shy away from that whole sales thing and they're just kind of worried about, about selling. They don't like it. They think they're being pushy with people or whatever. And that needn't be the case. Uh, the, the absolute truth is that if you've got something that's valuable to somebody, I mean generally valuable to them, rather than just, you know, making uh, some money for you, then surely it's your duty to make them aware of it. Um, and and if it's right for them, then why wouldn't they buy it? I'm not talking about the old-fashioned reputation that sales salesmen, if you like, have got or had, um, you know, going back to the, the bad old days where it was kind of feature selling, selling just on, you know, it does this, it does that, etc., till you just battered um, away and eventually you, you, you buy it or, or, or don't. Um, modern day selling, it's about value. It's about what something your product or service can do for somebody else. Um, actually, I love being sold to. It's, it's absolutely brilliant to, because that's how I learn. And if somebody comes to me with a product or a service that genuinely is value, and of course there's different types of value. I'll do another video and talk about value because it's quite an interesting thing. Um, but if it is genuinely valuable to me and it's the best option from the other options available, then I'll buy it. Why wouldn't I buy it? Because the value to me is greater than the money amount of money that I will spend in, in getting it. Um, and so I'm really grateful to that, that person. And, and actually I've got, in my businesses, I've got people that sell to me and have done for years who I absolutely trust um, people in packaging and people in the services that my business use, uh, they've become great friends and, and they're salesmen and salespeople and uh, they earn money from, from what I buy and that's great because that's a win-win situation. So if you've got a product or a service and you get it into, the, you know, you want to get it out there into the market, then just realise that you're in the sales uh, business. Um, the best way, in my view, sales today is about the consultative sell. It's about a conversation. So it's much more relaxed than the old sort of pressure selling. And you've maybe heard of the, some of the old acronyms that we used to talk about. Um, ADA, uh, Attention, Interest, Desire and Action. Um, closing and closing styles and all this kind of, kind of stuff. Um, I think today sales is just much more relaxed and it's just much more natural. And uh, when we talk about um, a, a conversation that just naturally flows, then we know when we're on the right lines with someone because we can really touch them and you can feel the energy that you know there's agreement as you as you go along through 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 a conversation and you just kind of know when things are coming together. Um, of course, you need to ask for the order. Um, and there's different ways of going about that, and that's something that people feel perhaps least comfortable with. But you know, in that really relaxed um, sales environment, there's nothing wrong with just saying, "How do you feel about that? Does this idea make sense to you? Would you like to Would you like to go ahead? When would you like you know, When would you like to start? When would you like it delivered? Whatever your product or service um, might be. That's not being pushy. That's really just exploring the. Um, the options with the with, with the customer. Um, you can even if, if it's really relaxed and, and, and you're just absolutely cool and there's that kind of vibe and you're getting the energy the, the right vibes from from your uh, prospect from from your customer. There's really just an assumed close, whereby the selling just naturally goes into the the the, 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 the detail of of whatever it is signing the paperwork or the order or, or or whatever nobody asks for the order nobody actually says they'll place an order it, it just kind of it's flow and I think uh, flow is important when you feel confident um, in selling uh, when you absolutely enjoy it 
then it's just it's like public speaking, I guess. You know, it's nothing to be fearful of. Nobody has died of selling. It's not a high risk um, exercise. The most, the worst that can happen is that someone can say no. And if it, they say no, it's a great opportunity to say thank you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to show you what I'm doing or, or, or what I have. Um, and also perhaps to ask them why. You know, what would, if my product or service was a little bit different, um, what would, you know, if you're not interested in, in this quite right now, then what might you be interested in? Ask for a referral as well. If this isn't quite right for you now, then perhaps who do you know that might like it? So that's the worst that can happen, is that somebody could politely say, say no, thank you, not right now. Um, and that, of course, will happen lots and lots. <laughs> and that's absolutely fine, because it doesn't matter how many people won't buy it. It's about finding the, the people who will, because that's who you designed your product or service for, isn't it? Not the people who aren't interested. Um, so targeting. Um, again, I'll do another video about that. Um, segmentation and targeting and positioning, that's more about the marketing side to get the right type of leads or the right type of uh, inquiries um, that match uh, your products. So in summary, no need to be scared of selling. It's an absolute necessity. Most businesses that fail, and actually most businesses do, let's be fair, the primary reason for failure is low sales. So if you can get that sales skill and learn to just really love it and live it and just be completely open and honest and authentic, then you've got a skill that will set your business straight for years and years. And it really is the most important thing. So signing off now, Jeremy Heath, a little bit of information there for you about sales and more videos to come.